Hello, welcome to Dumi's Daily Grind. My name is Dumi and I created this channel to share my life experiences, inspirations I found from others, lessons I have learned and things I have been taught throughout various periods of my life especially the ones related to mental health, addiction, spirituality, and um, I have not created a video in a while. And I just, and I have got some really um, exciting things that have happened to me since um my last video upload um and i just want to take this opportunity to record um my happiness my joy my ability to see the fruits of my efforts and um to turn it into something that is more positive um, and something that will become uh, one of the stones in my foundation um, as I build this new life. So, yes, yeah, so it's been a while since I have recorded a video and a lot has happened in my life since my last recording, uh, since my last episode. Mostly all these things have been positive things and it's, it, it really looks into my new philosophy of daily improvement of about 2% which um, is advice that I got from one of the books that I read and I did an episode on it and it just it's trying to implement it on a daily basis is, is really amazing and I can see how um, the growth um, happens gradually on a daily basis just by a little bit of um, a daily improvement you know um, so life is getting better you know life currently is getting better and I am reaching the goals that I have set previously and I'm at a point where I'm now starting new goals and I have space in my life to go in, 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 in that direction that I was looking forward to going into of self-discovery, of understanding how correct what I know is, how incorrect what I know is, um, what life is all about, and, and all of those things that come with the personal growth and the personal development that I am blessed enough to be involved in and engaged in, you know. So these goals, these old goals um, that I have set, um, have I have reached? I have reached them, and my work, the seeds that I've planted, are really coming into fruition right now. You know, and <laughs> reaching some of these goals is absolutely wonderful, and starting new ones. Um, not really wanting. I don't really want to get into. The details of what has happened and the reason why I don't want to get into the details of what has happened since my last episode is really because I am fast approaching um, my one year anniversary since deciding to embark on this journey and um, and I'd like to keep that information 
for a special episode which I am planning um, to release sometime in October when I turn one. Um, my first anniversary is when I will probably probably get into some of the details. Um, but I need to think about it for a little bit, see what it is I want to share and what is it is that I, I am not ready to share. Um, because sometimes, you know, they say that when you are improving and when you are embarking on positive goals and positive mindsets and changing your life, sometimes it's better to just um, keep quiet, you know, um, until everything it has been solidified and finalized and all of that. So I'm, I'm going to take that into consideration uh, when I do that episode and see what I can share and what I shouldn't share, you know. You know, life is an amazing, amazing thing that I am going through. And for the first time in a really long time, I can sit here and say, wow, um, I finally understand that life is, is, is something that needs to be lived. And the best ways of living life literally are, first of all, some of the my favorite quotes really include the one that says, um, do not ever justify your own existence to anybody and I think this advice is quite important because what it then means is it allows you that opportunity to be an individual to be who you are to accept your uniqueness to accept your uniqueness to appreciate the fact that no two human beings are identical no two human beings are the same even though society has put these um unbelievable ideals for us to follow in place and learning the ability to to live your life purely for what and how you want to live your life without justifying your existence and having to explain who you are and what it is that you are supposed to do and having to comply to societal norms um, is something that I am really learning to do and it's becoming a really great part of my journey because when I sit here in front of this camera I am talking to myself and I'm expressing to myself that it has taken me so long to arrive at this point. And the reason why it's taken me so long to arrive at this point is not because, um, you know, I chose this path. It's not because I wanted to go through all of the struggles that I went through to get here. But it is because I lived in a world that said to me, this is how the world operates and this is how we live in this world and this is how we exist and this is how we coexist and this is how um, um, a young black South African um, girl, woman, uh, lady is supposed to be. And society has put so many different um, limitations on us and I've gotten to learn that it is now up to me to to change you know and 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 comply to my new norms not what society thinks is the correct way um, for me to live my life you know the second quote that I really, really um, like a lot that I look to 
um, just to to ensure that I keep track with my journey and what I want my life to become. The second quote that I live by on a daily basis, and I think I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, is the improvement. Improve by 2% every day. It is... I got this quote from one of the books that I read and I spoke about, I actually did an episode about it, um, that book, and that is one of the things that have stuck to my mind because it made sense to me. It made sense that if I start from this level, this foundation, and I improve, by a small percentage, on a daily basis, imagine what new heights I can reach. Imagine what levels of happiness and joy and serenity I can get to by just acknowledging that, first of all, I don't know everything that I think I know. I am not a person who is um, even academic you know I just like reading I just li like listening to people I just like um, analyzing and 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 critically thinking about what it is that people are saying and because of my open-mindedness to all that exists within our world the theories the beliefs the religion the spirituality how people are trying to figure out life and they give us the time to put their thoughts on paper and do the research and find out exactly what makes sense and what doesn't make sense and they give us the opportunity to explore ourselves as individuals you know i love religion and religion has got uh, specific points that I, I, I sometimes refer to. I mean, I did, a, I did an episode, I think one of my first few episodes, where um, the entire episode really um, included a lot of quotes from the Bible and how I apply those quotes and how spirituality is, 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 is more of a way to live because it uh, it allows you to introspect it allows you to investigate it allows you to understand who you are it allows you to believe in a higher power it allows you to um have a god have jesus um have whoever it is that you worship every day you know to have faith you know and with with that kind of knowledge, one then gains the tools of literally being able to um, start, it, start the day anew um, almost every single day and say, this is my foundation. Um, this is what I know or I knew for sure yesterday, um, but today I can learn something else. Today I can learn... Uh, more details of what I know. Um, today I can be kinder. Today I can be um, better. You know, I can be slightly better than I was yesterday. And go into the knowledge and the beliefs and, and see what works and keep what works and discard really what doesn't work. So um, another one of the things that have happened since my last episode is is really, really um, a major change in my life. And this major change is going to allow me to produce more quality content, if I should say it that way, because uh, most of my content in includes um, readings from websites, um, readings that I got from books, um, quoting my favorite 
philosophers, quoting my favorite religious leaders, you know, psychological texts, etc. However, that research was a little bit limited, I think. So this new thing that is happening for me is going to allow me to better analyze, better criticize, better understand um, exactly what it is that I am reading and better interpret the information that already exists, which I think would improve my videos greatly uh, and uh, will hopefully improve my channel. But, you know, the end goal of my channel was literally personal improvement and having space to express um, who I am and what I've learned and have the ability to adjust so so that I can see the difference in five years or in however many years while I go through this journey and, and record it, you know. So, yeah, so that part um, is going to allow me to produce better content. This is my hope. Um, I will be focusing a lot more on psychology. Um, I will be looking at psychological theories. I'll be comparing a lot of psychological theories which, with uh, spiritual principles. I will be exploring human behavior. Um, I will be exploring more of um, what makes um, the basis of the field within psychology. Who are we? Um, am I who I am because of biology? Am I who I am because of heredity, genetics? Um, am I experiencing the problems that I'm experiencing in my life based on um, uh, development, you know? Um, was it because something happened between the ages of zero and three? I'll be looking at theories such as psychoanalytical theories. I'll be looking at developmental psychology, I'll be looking at evolutionary. I did touch on these um, in previous episodes, but I'll be going more into detail as to where these theories come from, uh, what is the history, where it is, where psychology is currently, what are the school of thought. Um, and, and I really want to look into that because um, psychology itself deals with the unconscious, it deals with the conscious, it deals with cognition, it deals with development, it deals with biology, it deals with um, so many aspects that are so important in, in, in my life right now. So, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to improving. I am looking forward to finding new ways of interacting and finding new ways of gaining knowledge and engaging wherever I can and getting other people's opinions and refining my opinions because now I'm going to have a tool that will allow me to perhaps do my own research on some of the theories that I have um, that I have had for a long time, especially when it comes to addiction, recovery, and and um, and how we tend, no, how we become um, addicts, and whether addiction is an illness and um, it is permanent, and all of those things are things that I really, really uh, want to look into and see what the different theories exist when it comes to um, addiction, spiritual growth, you know, mental health issues, how, why we're experiencing what we're experiencing in 2022, how the pandemic has affected us 
um, in South Africa, but perhaps in the world. But yeah, um, so in this episode, really, I, I just wanted to outline um, what I would like to do going forward. So because I take things one day at a time and I'm flexible and I'm, I'm open-minded and I allow changes and my mind is a, 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 an absolutely wonderful place right now because I have got space for new things. I've got space for new knowledge. I've got space for um, hearing people's opinions, reading about people's opinions, listening to what they have to say and incorporating it into what I think I know so far so thank you so much I'm gonna end it off there and I'd like to say thank you for watching until the end if you did um I checked my patreon and I still have no patreons currently but it should be interesting to see who the first one is going to be maybe next year maybe two years time we'll see but for now, thank you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. It is Monday, the 12th of September, and things are really um, going well. Um, so good night. And I look forward, so forward, to this new leaf, you know, this new page. Um, that I have turned. I'm looking forward to seeing where the adventure takes me. Thank you so much. Good night. Um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.